One of GGC's main areas of focus has been on reinforcing the Women, Peace, and Security, or WPS agenda. The WPS agenda was groundbreaking. It was created by the UN Security Council almost 21 years ago, and it was the first international instrument that recognized the inherent link between international peace and security and gender equality. Since its adoption, the Council has adopted nine other resolutions that collectively form the WPS agenda and create a very strong framework for international actors to follow in making sure there's a gender perspective in conflict response. And for all those years that it's existed, the Council has been unanimous in its support for the WPS agenda, but more recently the agenda and its resolutions have come under attack. And it's come under attack exactly on the areas in which GJC works. Access to sexual and reproductive health and rights, and combating sexual and gender-based violence. So while these attacks were underway, sometimes subtly, sometimes more overtly, GJC was there to make rights-based arguments that were fundamentally grounded in international law to prevent rollback. For GJC, it's not enough for the UN Security Council to call for a gender perspective in conflict response. The Women, Peace and Security agenda and the fundamental rights that it reflects need to be actionable. And UN bodies and states need to be held accountable for making sure that Resolution 1325 and all those that followed are brought from paper to practice. <laughs>